lovely pitch, a really good day. Mm. Really. Forecast wasn't supposed to be that good for today. We brought the sunshine with us. <laughs> This is the last skin of the French wing to be sorted. Keith earlier had this skin on a steel table trying to flatten it as much as he could so he would be able to back drill and produce an accurate copy. He has now skin pinned the original skin to a sheet of aluminium and into the wooden bench. This is the panel which fits under the wing and houses the landing lights. Got too much material there have you? Yeah, it's been where it's been waxed, it's stretched it. That's it there, look. Which one will you pick up on then when it's like that? I might not pick up on it, I'll just leave it. Yeah. Just leave it blank and then uh, once it's installed, back drill the holes. Yeah. Then if it's too distorted. Yeah. I might take it off and put it in a shrinker, see if I can uh, shrink some of it out. I've got to right to there, it's just that section there that's... It's probably where it's been whacked on that side. Yeah. You want the material stretch, as they would. Yeah, but you can see where it's about to whack there. Yeah. Yeah. we got a good... Uh, 80, 75 percent of it yeah, is yeah, it's reasonable. Just, it's just uh, picking up what you can. Yeah. As long as it, you know, kind of lays flat. Yeah. You're all right. Yeah. You can't do this to a, a wheeled skin. If the skin's been wheeled, you can't do this. No, no. You never get the shape, would you? Well, no. You'll get um, an error in the holes as you go around because of the growth in the holes. Oh, so what you have to do is, if you got, if it was like a curved wheeled skin, you'd find one row that was flat, yeah. and pick up a few of the holes along there, yeah. and then pin it to the job, and then work out from that line that you've pinned it to, just work out from it, like oh, that, and yeah. back drill all the holes, and yeah. pin it as you go, yeah. and it'll pull it round. Yeah. Skin round there. Yeah. But all, all these skins, and because none of them are wheeled or anything, they're, no. they're, they're all just flat skins and they're just pulled down into shape. Yeah. So you can, uh, you can do it this you way. You can do it, yeah. Which is fortunate. Yeah. Right, Keith. Keith has now completed this skin with reinforcement on the landing light aperture. Yeah. Behind the French wing is the polythene tent they erected for spraying of the Doncaster fuselage and new parts of the frame. The new parts of the frame are now green. The ladders are a part of the working platform. Dave's on holiday this week, so Phil and Norman have pinned 90% of the skins, leaving just three skins to go. Yeah, it's not life threatening, I said, oh no, it's alright. It's going to be the following this next Thursday morning. I suppose it makes sense that when you take all the skins off, 
the obviously the frame must be under a certain amount of strain somewhere along all the joints. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah it, and, it, um, it, it does maybe like a little bit of a springiness in it all, yeah. you know, so. Because yeah. I mean, when you put a rivet in, yes. that obviously tightens it up and twists it somewhere, perhaps only a fraction, but it must move it. Yeah, every, si every single rivet creates more strength. Yeah. Yeah. Also, makes more rigidity. So the whole thing will move as you all really did up, you know, maybe yeah. by a millimetre, maybe two mil. Yeah. And so, yeah, you just have to adjust the holes yeah. with an ice pick, like yeah. that, just to bring the skins into line, you know, and then put your feet yeah. on. Yeah. A massive shock loading. Yeah. The big that twist, put, put isn't it? A big twisting moment. Yeah. Uh, so this will go some ways to, to re re putting it back into its datum yeah. but this rear fuselage will never be to the same tolerances that it was when it was when it was manufactured yeah. because of that damage that yeah. um, happened to it right That's ready for skin number yeah. mm. when I looked at this piece of skin it reminded me of my DIY wallpapering days. It's so thin. This comes in the hard bit, does it? Where you're pinning three skins together? Yes. When when the roof collapsed on, on this, there was a trestle underneath here. So the roof girder hit the top. The trestle underneath here, obviously equal and opposite reaction, Newton's law. Yeah. The stanchion came down the top. This, for a nanosecond, tried to hold its own, but that gave way as well so all this was pushed in as well as the top being pushed down. down. So we haven't replaced every single piece of structure in here so there's still that moment is still in here where well, yeah. just around here it's a you know a little this bit distortion that we 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 yeah. by putting the new skin on it that's really profile it. Yeah. Yeah. So just slowly Trying to pull it all into alignment again before we rivet it uh, back up again. Yeah. Why is this? There was a particularly badly damaged bit there that's been cut out, and there's a, there's a space there on the bench there. When this skin comes on, yeah. there's a space that's going there. Can you rivet the space on separately, or will it be riveted when you do the three skins? What's that? This spacer here. Yeah, that, that's got, that'll go when we put this skill in a minute. It, it, it'll go on. Yeah. Uh, I need a yellow grip there. Most of the ones around here have been in already. So when you come to this piece here, which is excess material or a bulge or whatever it is, you start in the middle and work out, do you? Yeah, exactly. Well, or if you necessary, something you have to take out those and then you have to... Yeah. It, it was flat previously, so... Yeah. 
it'll be fine and when you rip it up it's because it's a double curvature you see the radius at that, that end oh, yeah. is slightly different to the radius at this end yeah and yeah. Uh, it's, it's got a double curvature going on so perhaps now how strong a structure it'll be when you get it all riveted up. So mate, well even with these gripper pins. Yeah. How, how much well, I can see it? now, you know. The well, rigidity yeah. goes into it. Okay. Yeah. Managed to make it fit, Alan. Uh, possibly. Possibly. It's a little bit better No, it isn't. I mean, when you take it all down and put it back together, obviously there's stress all around, isn't there? so things won't line up straight away. Yeah, and everything relaxes when you release it all. Yeah. If it's been under some slight stress, yeah. undoing it in a certain way, and as you do it in a certain way again, yeah. everything moves a little. That did it, did it? Yeah, yeah. I would have squared it all up. Yeah, I just where it had bent and buckled and everything, I shrunk yeah. it all and everything all back into shape. For the original one and then cut the whole Yeah. What well, what's those in reinforcing pieces round the where the lights go? Yeah. Yeah, because it's not having lights fitted. No. So no. It's, um, There's no no fitments came with it, were there? They'd all been robbed out of it. Oh, that's what there was after. Yeah. yeah, and because basically we've got to seal it off and it's just cosmetic. Yeah. So mm. uh, what I've done is I've made a couple of Perspex windows. Oh. So there's the... These are the... Yeah. Blood plates that sit in there. So we're going to glue a window to each one, so it looks like there's lights. There's a glare. That's good then. That's one original one. Not mm. much left of it, is there? Oh, well, it just... It's steel. I was going to say, it's rust, isn't it? Yeah, it's steel. Yeah, coarse rust. And that's the other one, and you can see it's all right through. Left of those, no. you can see there's all the writing on them. Tells you how to adjust because oh, the, the lamps are adjusted where you can adjust, adjust them so that yeah. the beams, yeah, right. They've got um, increments on it 10 degrees, 5 degrees, 0, 
and then five and ten did the, the other way and then it tells you to adjust angle it says slacken off the screws oh. Oh, they only keep those don't they and then it's the same on that one They're actually stamped into it were they both um, lights in the direct well, was one up and low or I haven't got a clue how no. they used to adjust them. Yeah. I think they're only in one wing, aren't they? Yeah, only in the port wing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I should imagine they're kind of set to one, one, one bit and one the other. Yeah. Because when you look at them, they're not square on. They come down at an angle. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. 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 But the, those cutouts are for the motors, for the hinges, because they're motorised up. Yeah. And they come yeah. down. Yeah. They're identical lamps. Yeah. But I should imagine one set for one angle and one set for another. So yeah. you get, although it's in the in the wing, I should imagine that as it comes down, it illuminates in front of the aircraft. Yeah. yeah.